Now, all right, the Black History Minute. This week we're doing Garrett Morgan. You know who Garrett Morgan is, brother? No idea. Okay, we're about to find out. The three light traffic light invented by Garrett Morgan in 1923. Born Garrett Augustus Morgan, March 4th, 1877, Clayville, Kentucky. Died July 27th, 1963, Cleveland, Ohio. Known for inventing the traffic light, or the three light traffic light. Uh, with only an elementary school education, black inventor and son of an enslaved parent, Garrett Morgan came up with several significant inventions including an improved sewing machine and the gas mask. However, one of Morgan's most influential inventions was the improved traffic light. Without his invention, drivers across the nation would be directed by a two light system. Thanks to the success of his other inventions, Morgan became the first black person in Cleveland, Ohio to own a car. As a motorist, he witnessed a severe car accident at, at an intersection in the city. In response, he decided to expand on the current traffic light by adding a yield component, warning oncoming drivers of an impending stop. He took out the patent for creation in 1923, and it was granted to him the following year. Morgan was born in uh, Claysville, Harrisburg, Harrison County, Kentucky, almost exclusively African-American community outside of Paris, Kentucky. Father was Sidney Morgan, a son and freed slave of Confederate General John Morgan of Morgan's Raiders. His mother was also a freed slave, Elizabeth Reed, daughter of Reverend Garrett Reed. She was part Native American and had at least one sibling, a brother named Frank, who helped in the 1916 Lake Erie Tunnel Rescue. Morgan only received a sixth grade education. I mean, all this was sixth grade education at Branch Elementary School in Clayville, then moved in search of work at the age of 14 to Cincinnati, Ohio. In 1908, he co-founded the Cleveland Association of Colored Men, which later merged with the National Association of, for the Advancement of Colored People. Morgan served as its treasurer. He was a member of the NAACP and donated money to historically black colleges and universities. Morgan in 1920 founded Cleveland Call, a weekly newspaper, and in 1938 subsequently participated in its merger that created Cleveland Call and the Post newspaper. Mer Morgan purchased a farm near Wakeman, Ohio, and upon that land built the Wakeman Country Club open to blacks, unlike most country clubs then. Morgan was a member of the Prince Hall Freemans, Freemasons in Excelsior Lodge number 11 of Cleveland, Ohio. He belonged to Antioch Baptist Church. In 1931, seeing that the city was neither properly addressing the needs of African-American citizens, he ran for a seat on the Cleveland City Council as an independent, but was not elected. And uh, that is your Black History Minute, Mr. Garrett Morgan, who, who in, he didn't invent the three light, three track. Well, he actually invented the three traffic light, but at first traffic lights used to have um, red and then green, and that's it. He put the yellow in the middle so that you would know, okay, the green, the, the red is coming. So uh, the brother also invented the ironing board, I think, plus uh he invented a uh, gas. He made, He invented a gas mask that uh, was the start of uh, the gas mask they use today, where firemen could go into uh, toxic chemicals. So the brother did a lot, man, with a sixth grade education. So what's our problem today, man? <laughs> anyway, that's the black yeah, issue, man. He did more. Huh? Yes, sir, go ahead. No, no, I said no, what's up, bro. Yeah, I said he did more with a sixth grade education than most of us do with a college degree. I said yes. something's wrong. But you see that he he wasn't looking for somebody else to go and put his hat under. You know, what I mean, he was he felt like, hey, I can I can do this stuff myself. So he went and did it himself. 
You know what I mean? Right. He didn't like most right. people they get a college degree, they go and say, Well, I gotta hang my hat under somebody else's shingle. But he decided to just do it on his own, man. And he just had that kind of mentality, man, where today we have a mentality of, you know, and I get it, you know, you want to make some money first and build up a reserve and then invest in your business. So I get it. Not like how it was where you could just you had you you didn't need as much money to start a business back then. So I get it. It's just these brothers, man, a lot of these cats, man. I know somebody with a third grade education, man, that did a lot too, man. Holy smokes, man. These cats with these <laughs> educations, man. I mean, back in the day, brother, we just had to have grit. You just had to have heart, huh? Holy smokes. All right, yes, brother. Sir.